So many headaches that you face on a daily basis running an agency or being a consultant are tied to one single problem, a lack or non-existent market positioning. Positioning is all about your who. Some people call it a niche, some people call it an industry, we call it a market position because we believe that it encapsulates multiple things. It's not enough to just go out and select a niche because you gotta drill in deeper to it. The market is just too competitive for you to go out and say, hey, I wanna work with dentists and that be it. There's a whole process that you need to go through to really drill into who you should be working with. And once you figure out your who, so many things after that will open up. In just one minute, I'm gonna walk you through the agency positioning work. But before I do, I need to talk to you about a few things because I've consulted with over a thousand agencies over the last five years. And so many of you struggle with making the decision to work with a singular type of client. So I need to drill this into why this is so important because I promise you, I will bet everything in my bank account, I'll give it to you if I'm wrong, that this is the right way to go. When our agency Webris switched over to working with just attorneys, we grew 5X in a year and a half. It doesn't happen overnight, but what happens is once you make that decision, you commit to it everything else behind you opens up what i mean by that is when you're doing the same type of thing over and over again for the same type of client you can actually build systems and processes once you have systems and processes that allows you to streamline operations get better results by doing less work and focus on growing that process making that process better over time as opposed to working with an e-commerce shop and then a lawyer and then a dentist and then a local gym every single time you do that you have to build a different process and if you do that you're doing custom work and it's a race to the bottom you don't want to be in that situation. You want to be in a situation where you're doing the same thing over and over again and you specialize in doing that because when you specialize in doing it, not only does operations become easier, hiring people becomes easier, getting results becomes easier, but also attracting clients because lawyers come to us because they know that we're experts, not just in what we do for marketing, but in their field. We're seen as true experts in being able to solve their problems. They come to us as consultants, as partners, as trusted advisors to their business. And when we do that, we create a market of one. So with that being said, Let's jump over to the agency positioning workbook and walk through how you can fill this out to help yourself to find who you should be working with. This is the agency positioning workbook that we have put thousands of agencies through to help them find who they should be working with, AKA their niche. Now, if you want deeper help with this, this is part one of a two part process. Part one is figuring out the who and part two is figuring out the what. The what is the offer. And I have this concept called market offer fit. We've got videos on it. They really go hand in hand because once you define the who, you also will be able to drill into the what. What is the perfect offer that's gonna get the best, fastest results possible for this niche? An example of that would be looking at our agency Webris. When we decided to work with lawyers, it wasn't enough to just say, we're gonna do SEO for them. We had to really understand what was gonna be the fastest and best way to do that. So we also tacked on paid search. We created this blended search model where we now we do a mix of local SEO and local ads because that's the fastest, most profitable way for them to get results and the easiest mechanism for us to deliver on that. And now we've created this beautiful symbiotic relationship. So the who goes hand in hand with the what. So if you only want to do SEO, you really got to make sure that that who is a good fit for doing just SEO. And if you want more help with that, you got to check out our programs, Blueprint Build or Blueprint Grow, because we walk you through this hand in hand. You go through these workbooks and then we'll actually give you one-on-one -on -one feedback via video or via one-on-one -on -one Zoom call to help you drill into this, because this is so important. This is the foundation of your business. If you don't have this right, everything else in the future with, you're going to struggle with. You have to nail the who and the what, the positioning and the offer. And if you need help with that, that's really why we exist. We'll help you drill into that. So now, of course, you have access to this workbook for free. And again, like I said, this is actually a core part of our program and something that we put all of our clients through because this helps to get the juices flowing on who you should be targeting. So it's a three part process here. You wanna find the right direction. We wanna dive into the perfect client and then we wanna vet the position to make sure that it's the right one. We've also got a blog post on agency positioning in here. It's a couple of videos on there too. Make sure you go through it in conjunction with this. It will really help you out. So part one is finding the right direction. The way that we wanna do this is we wanna drill into any past experience, anything that you like doing. So we have a series of questions here. All you have to do is read the question. I've got some examples of how to fill it out and then you fill in the blank down here. So for example, do you have any marketing experience in a given industry? I previously worked in-house at an e-commerce brand or I built a ton of affiliate websites. Now again, these are just examples. <laughs> so make sure that you're asking yourself this question and just flush this out. The whole point of this is to flush things out, to get the juices flowing, to get you starting to think about who you should be targeting. So go through these questions, make sure you answer them honestly. And once you get through here, then we come to position two. So the end of this result, you should have a direction to bet and you want to type that in here. So the direction is not going to 
to be your official positioning. It's going to be part one of deciding who we want to move with. And again, this is fluid. You're probably going to have to go through this a couple of times to really drill into this. And then once you go through this, you're still going to want to adjust your position. A great example is our business. We started three years ago by working directly with B2B SaaS companies. But when we started to go through that and really understanding the nuances of that business model, we decided that it wasn't a good fit for us. Why? Because B2B SaaS companies had an internal marketing manager who was really picky and particular about content. And we were really struggling to deliver on that level of content for those clients. So we decided to move off of that and focus on law firms because they were a much better fit for what we wanted to do. They only care about results and leads. They didn't care about content. They just wanted phone calls. And we are much more equipped to do performance-based marketing than content-based marketing. So going through this, this is not an end-all be-all. You're going to learn a lot about the who and you want to continue to adjust it. This is not set in stone. You don't need to chisel this into your website. This is just a direction for you to push in to get things moving. There's a very, very important quote. I'm going to butcher it, but attention flows where the energy goes or something along those lines. Whatever that means is that you got to put one foot in front of the other. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So you got to just start walking. And when you do that, when you put effort, when you put energy, when you put attention into things, good things will come. You're not just going to dream about who you should be working with and have it come overnight. This is a process. You need to put effort and attention and energy into this. And once you do, eventually you will lead to the right place. Again, it's not going to happen overnight. So we just want to make sure that we take the right steps in order to do that. And this workbook is a great way to start influencing that process. So now we're getting into understanding what problems they have. Your service should be based on problems, not based on what you do, right? So we're talking about the who right now, but again, part two inside of our program, we teach you the what, how to develop offers that are gonna have an impact, that are gonna get results, that are gonna allow you to charge top dollar for what you do. A lot of you come in here and be like, well, I do SEO, so I wanna do SEO for guitar shops because I like to play guitar. Does a guitar shop really need SEO? Is that really a problem for them? You've got to drill into what their problem is. You've got to understand what it is that they care about. You've got to understand what makes them tick and what keeps them up at night. If you can't do that, then you need to put more time and energy to start doing this. Have conversations, do research online. Like I said, this is not something that you just do in five minutes and it just comes to you like a light bulb. This is something you have to put time and effort and energy into. So who is the person seeking, experiencing these problems? The person who would most likely seek out your business and make the decision to purchase, founder, CEO, internal marketing manager, et cetera. What are the most pressing pain points keeping them up at night? What mistakes are your prospective clients making right now? What's stopping them from fixing this themselves? It's the biggest result you could potentially get your prospective client. So after you go through these, again, you fill these out. Now it's time to vet these things. Now this means, okay, now that I've determined I want to work with gyms, right? Something along those lines. I've started to diagnose what their problems are and understand what those problems are. Now I want to vet this. Is there purchasing power here? Is this something that they really need or is this just something that they want? What I mean by that, Again, looking at gyms, for example, this is a great, great example. Let's say you're a fitness freak. You've been a personal trainer for 10 years and then you learned how to do SEO and you're like, well, this is a perfect marriage. I know how to do SEO. It seems like they need help with client acquisition. So I'm going to sell SEO to gyms. The most important question you need to ask yourself is does the result of the service that I want to offer result in more clients for my prospective audience here? So let's look at gyms, for example. How do people find gyms? Do they go to Google and type in gym near me? Maybe, but that's usually not how it works. They use social media, they get referrals, they get friends that tell them about things. They see people online that got a six pack and they wanna to go to that gym. They see an ad with a great offer to come in to try one free. It's usually not just Googling gyms. So to me, SEO is not a good offer. It's not a good fit for gyms because you're not gonna actually help them get more clients. Now when we contrast that with law firms, People go to Google and they search for a lawyer. And when they find the first result, they'll call that first result and become a client. So SEO or any search marketing, paid search, local service ads are a great fit for law firms. It's not the same. And so many of you are stuck on what you do, trying to jam it on the who, but you have to make sure that the who and the what line up. Does who you're targeting here need what you offer? And if that's not the case, then you need to go back to this. It's a symbiotic relationship. Who, what, who, what? Does the who match the what? Does my what match the who? So if you're dead set on doing SEO or paid search or Facebook ads or social media marketing, whatever, you need to make sure that that aligns with how the who is gonna actually acquire customers. You can't just make that happen. It's, that's not the way this works. And that's why so many of you are struggling because you're trying to jam a service onto somebody who doesn't need it, or you're trying to jam a service into a market that's saturated and everyone's trying to do it. So it's a symbiotic relationship. You gotta go back and forth. How much money will they make from it? What's the average retainer says in that space? Who currently manages their marketing, SEO? What's their level of effort to deliver the service? What's the level of expertise? Do they need our services or is it just nice to have? Be brutally honest with yourself. So after you go through these questions, 
questions. Now you've got a position that's flushed out and you should result in saying, okay, I'm going to target gyms. I'm going to target law firms. I'm going to target why. And the next step for this, again, is then to figure out what is the offer that you need to put together that's going to deliver on that promise of more customers, of more traffic, of whatever it is that they want. And again, it's what they want and what they need, not what you do. So again, if you do SEO, and you're like, well, I help people get rankings. Lawyers don't care about rankings. Dentists don't care about rankings. They care about getting more clients. So what you do needs to align with what they care about. If that's getting more clients, which 90% of the time it's gonna be, then you need to make sure that, sure that your service delivers on that fast and profitably. If not, you are going to continue to struggle. So the what is just as big of a part, if not bigger than the who. And if you need help with that, drop a comment below this video because we've got programs dedicated to doing this. The Blueprint Build, the Blueprint Grow. Just go to the blueprint.training, the blueprint.training, and you can find out more information on those programs and how we can partner with you one-on-one -on -one to make sure that you're building the foundation of your agency right.